And I now give the floor to Ms. Najib Saab, the Arab Forum for Environment and Development. Mr. President, honorable delegates, I would like to share with your assembly some observations on the prospects and challenges facing the implementation of SDGs in Arab countries where we operate. My first message here is that we need to stop treating Arab countries as a monolith. Individual countries have distinctive needs and economic, political, and social contexts that must be respected. Consequently, countries will have to identify their own priority SDGs and develop their plans for implementation. My second message is that there are some common challenges facing our region and those demand implementation plans for achieving SDGs, which must be linked with effective participation of non-state sectors, two, job creation, three, homegrown science capabilities, and four, institutional and public policy capacity building. I will direct my third message towards partnership for development and the role of Arab funds. Besides the need for developed countries to meet their overdue assistant pledges, there is a pressing need to mobilize local resources through reforms and subsidies and tax regimes. Moreover, our region boasts 10 development funds, which can play a leading role in assisting Arab countries to achieve the SDGs goals. For my fourth message, I would like to call upon Arab governments to adopt a genuine cross-sectoral approach to sustainable development. This entails the integration of climate change consideration in the implementation of the SDGs, mainly based on the water, energy, food nexus. My fifth message concerns a focus on the state of conflict in the Arab region, and thus demands an approach that responds directly to the particular needs and priorities of areas suffering from armed conflicts and illegal military occupation. Beyond, beyond limiting action to ad hoc measures, we would be wise to lay the foundation for integrating SDGs implementation in the anticipated rebuilding efforts. To conclude, we believe that there is an urgent need to invest in people-centered development, which fosters integration of human rights, including the right to development and the principles of genuine public participation, accountability, transparency, non-discrimination, all of those should be integrated into sustainable development agenda, and thank you. I thank Mr. Najib Saab.